Hello everybody, it's Rich Cispides, and uh, I'm here just to talk about and specify about the geometry of space-time and how objects in space-time transfer information between each other. And that, not, and that objects in all of space and our reality never are really touching, but the only way that they're really touching is through the communication of each other. And um, they communicate by transferring energy through space-time itself between each other, the gap between each other. No, no matter how small they are, no matter how close they are, objects are never really touching. And um, what I wanted to specify was that that a fist doesn't really hit a face. What a fist does is that when a fist comes into contact to the cheek or forehead, the fist transfers energy and tells the the cheek or forehead to become indented it tells it to react and to become um deformed in a certain manner the fist tells it hey i'm coming in at this certain speed i'm at this mass you must you must uh re you must or can you please reply by becoming affected by my um by my existence by by my by my um but by my force it's telling it to 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 change its geometry and its surface to change not by actually hitting it but by transferring energy to it and telling it to react in a certain way just like when you drop a ball in a in a, in sand the sand becomes creased and cupped because of the heavy ball but the ball tells the sand to disperse and to become and to shift and become its shape to confide to the shape of the mass of the ball and the sand being um, less complex and in less and in, in less activity doesn't have the intelligence to to um, reflect or to dispel the ball and that's that's how energy and space and time works that's how everything exists nothing really touches each other the only thing that's touching scientifically is a transfer of energy and information telling one object to another to change and to adapt to its its existence to its presence that's what I'm trying to say to its presence coming that's what I'm trying to say is that geometry the geometry of space-time transfers this energy through the bending and flexing of space-time of the mass itself at the quantum level transferring the information and telling the object they never touched the gap between too small to see that tells the object to react that could also be a form of a uh, telekinesis and things like that. And um, again, this is rich system. It is. I just wanted to specify how exactly the information is, and I'll try to come up with some mathematical formula. I'm pretty sure there's math out there that can that describes it in such a way, but not to the detail I think it is. This is rich system. It is. Thank you for watching.